Hi friends, welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the remittances. Okay, remittances. The remittance means whatever the people of India who are working outside the country border, they are sending the money back to their home country. The money sent by those people back to their home country is called as the remittance. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about such remittances. So this remittance issue is in news because of the context that recently the World Health Organization has released one report. Okay. The context is that the World Health Organization has released one report. Okay. In short, this is called as the WHO or the World Health Organization. Okay. So the report, the title of the report is that the world report on the health of the ref refugees and the migrants world report on the health of refugees and the migrants okay released by world health organization so this is the first of its kind report so so far the health and the hygienic conditions of the people who are working in the outside the border of their home country was not considered so for the first time after the uh, especially after the outbreak of the COVID-19, uh, now the WHO has given importance to the status of health as well as the hygiene of the refugees and the migrants. Okay, so in that way, this is the first of its kind of report. This report is the first to offer a global review of the health and health and the migration of the people. Okay. So this report calls for the urgent and the concerted action to support refugees and the migrants across the world. Okay, so it is asking for urgent and the concrete action to support the refugees and the migrants across the world. So it is calling for the urgent action because the WHO has found that in some of the countries the migrant workers they are not living in a hygienic conditions their health status is not good okay whatever the food they are eating the the health benefits they are getting from the host countries they are not that good okay so because of that uh, uh, that point in mind the who is asking to take the urgent and co concerted actions uh, okay with respect to the migrants and the refugees this is the context in in this context we are you know discussing about the the remittances sent by the Indians back to the their home country. So, according to the World Report on the Health of the Refugees and the Migrants, which is released by the World Health Organization, India is the world's largest recipient of the remittances. Okay, of course, the WHO has taken the help of the World Bank. Okay, world based on the World Bank report this who is telling that the india has become the world's largest recipient of the remittances okay now india is receiving that means in 2021 the india has received 87 billion us dollars as the my uh, remittance okay 87 billion us dollars have been sent by the indian people working abroad okay so this is the total uh, remittance india got in the previous year so let us look into the further findings of the report what the, this who report is talking about okay globally about one in eight people are migrants okay so according to the world bank report according to the world bank data presently the world has 7.8 billion people okay as of today the whole world has the total population of 7.8 billion okay this is according to the world bank data but the WHO is telling that about one in eight people are migrants. Okay, that means one in eight means around one billion people are the migrants in the world. That means total one billion people are migrant workers in the world. Okay, so this is the first data given by the WHO from 1990 to 2020. That means in the period of 30 years from 1990 to 2020 the total number of international migrants increased from 153 million to 281 million okay so this 1 billion migrant it includes both internal migration as well as the external migration okay so between the period of 1990 and 2020 
there is an increase in the number of international migrants okay from it was in the increase is from 153 million to 281 million that means internationally today there are total 281 migrant workers are there okay next next data is that about 48 percent of the international migrants are women and 36 million are children so according to the who report 48 percent of the total international migrants they are the women okay almost half of the international migrants are the women workers and uh, out of these 281 million okay 36 million are the children okay the children belonging to the migrant workers okay so this is the data given by the are the findings of the report of the who then there are other findings of the report also europe and the north america hosted the greatest number of international migrants yes yes people are migrating from one country to another country they are going and they are searching for the job and they are earning the better incomes but what countries which are the countries or which are the regions in the world they are attracting the migrants okay they are the europe and the north america so very prosperous continents in the world okay the europe and the north america they have hosted the highest number of international migrants followed by the northern africa and the western asia so this northern america and the western asia they are rich in the oil resources okay so the, here in north africa and the western asia the major resource is the oil okay for oil in the oil industry the people are working in this region but in europe and the north america the migrant workers are engaged in the various other white color jobs okay here the skilled workers are migrating too much in the europe and the north america but unskilled laborers are the unskilled migrants are going towards the western asia as well as the northern um, africa okay these are the four regions in the world which are attracting more and more migrants so next finding is that the india has received 87 billion dollars in remittances in 2021 yes we have discussed this uh, in 2021 india has received a total 87 billion dollars as the uh, remittance but so by receiving 87 billion dollars india has emerged as the largest country or the country which receives the highest remittances okay followed by the countries like the china and the mexico so india accounts for 12 percent of the total global remittances yes it is 87 billion means 12 percent of the total remittances in the world okay see 12 percent means 87 billion okay so india has received 87 billion dollars as the remittance that means it is 12 percent but 100 percent means 8700 divided by 12 so it is around 700 billion globally the people are these 280 million people in the world they are the international migrants these international migrants are sending the remittances back to their country the total amount of remittances sent by these migrant workers is around 700 billion dollars 700 billion dollars and out of this 700 billion dollar 87 billion dollars are sent by the indians back to the india okay so this is the total amount of the remittance and the total number of you know international migrants in the world according to the who report okay so north america and the europe these are the highest hosting countries uh, followed by the north africa and the western asia okay so there are five recipients yes i have said that india has become the largest country or the country which receives the highest amount of the remittances but what are the other countries there are five top countries which receive the highest amount of you know remittances what are they yes no doubt india 87 billion dollar followed by the china 53 billion see there is too much gap between india and china though china is in the second position the amount of remittance received by china is too less compared to india so there is a gap of around 30 billion dollar okay you can say it nearly 30 billion dollar difference is there between india and china with respect to the amount of remittance received okay there is a too much gap between india and china though china is in the second position the third this uh, the third position is mexico mexico also receives the same amount of remittance that is 53 billion dollar 
China and the Mexico, they are on the equal footing. Okay, they receive the equal amount of remittances. That is fifty-three billion dollar. Okay, so you can replace China by Mexico. Okay, Mexico may be second or China may be third or China is second or Mexico is the third. Here the interchange can happen because the amount is the same here, but it will change definitely in the upcoming years. This value will be. Changed either Mexico may become the second country or the China may remain in the same slot. Okay, the fourth country which receives the highest amount of remittances is the Philippines. It receives the thirty-six billion dollar, and fifth one is the Egypt. That is thirty-three billion dollar. See if you look into these countries, Mexico, Philippines, Egypt, and the India. These are the middle income countries or the low. lower to middle income countries so the people who do not receive much of the income those living whose living conditions are not that good they will migrate to other countries the other countries which are flourishing with respect to the economy with respect to the standard of life the people will go there and work there okay so if you look analyze these countries these are all the middle income countries are the low income countries from such countries people will migrate and they will get the better opportunity and they will earn more okay so these are the five top remittance receiving countries in the world then what are the largest source countries yes the people from india china mexico philippines and they are going to other countries but what are the countries which are hosting these you know migrants they are the united states of america first country highest number of you know migrant workers are there followed by the united arab emirates the saudi arabia and the switzerland these are the top four countries which you know are the sources for the migrant workers next this is the graphical representation of the origin of the remittances that means the countries uh, which contribute to the remittances of for the other countries so usa this is the this red you know color indicates the data of the 2016-17 okay this red color is all about the 16 17 data and the green color you know or the uh, this color indicates the present 2021 remittance okay the usa has contributed 23.4% of the total remittances to india okay so india sorry the people working in the us they send 23% of the remittances to india followed by the uae uae provides 18% of the remittance to india then uk 6.8% are nearly 7% of the total remittance followed by singapore and saudi arabia from these five countries india receives the highest amount of remittance okay usa 23% uae 18% uk 7% singapore nearly 6% and saudi arabia 5% okay that means here in these countries the people of india are the indian diaspora is more and they are earning more and these people are sending money to the india then state wise share yes the, we have seen the countries which provide or which contribute more remittances to india now we have to look within india which states are receiving more amount of you know remittances okay so traditionally there are three states in the country especially in the southern part of uh, country karnataka tamil nadu kerala they have they are regarded as the traditional you know remittance recipient states in the country so kerala tamil nadu and karnataka so far they had received they were the dominant states or the from these states people are working were working in the gulf countries okay people from karnataka tamil nadu and kerala they are they were working in the gulf countries and so far they were earning these four states they were contributing 42.2% of the total remittances in india during the 2016-17 period okay just five years back karnataka kerala and tamil nadu they received near 42% of the total remittances in india but now the the amount received by the kerala tamil nadu and karnataka has reduced okay now they are receiving only 25% of the total remittances in the country okay kerala tamil nadu and karnataka their contribution that means their share in the total remittance has been reduced from 42% in 2016-17 to only 25% in 2021 okay as of now these three states 
constitute 25 percent of the total remittances received okay but there is a one interesting case with respect to maharashtra maharashtra so far it was not in uh, it was not you know receiving too much of the remittances but in the year 2021 maharashtra has emerged as the the state which receives the highest amount of remittances okay maharashtra now it receives 35 percent of the total remittances in the country it has emerged as the top recipient state surpassing the kerala so far kerala was the top state which was receiving the total or the highest amount of remittances but ma now maharashtra has become the first state by superseding or by surpassing the kerala now kerala contribute or the kerala constitutes only 10.2 percent of the total remittances received okay so now the top state is maharashtra okay followed by these kerala uh, okay i will show it in the uh, graph so here the maharashtra has emerged as the highest remittance receiving state that means now it it receives 35 percent of the total remittances followed by kerala now it receives 10 percent third slot is by tamil nadu that is 9.7 percent fourth is delhi the union territory of delhi 9.3 percent and fifth place is shared by the karnataka that is 5.2 percent okay mar this kerala tamil nadu and karnataka these three states kerala tamil nadu and karnataka these three states contribute uh, then that they, they constitute 25 percent of the total remittances okay so these are the top states which receive the remittances from abroad now the, there is a report by the rbi rbi says that while the gulf immigration was mostly from the southern states for years together so far the migration to gulf countries that is kuwait iran iraq saudi arabia yemen omen bahrain various gulf countries are there okay uh, the, uh, located in the western part of asia so in these gulf countries Yes, the people of India, especially from the southern states like the Kerala, Maharashtra, Karnataka, they were going. But this trend has been changed for the years together. So far, the people from South India were migrating towards the Gulf countries. Now, this trend has been changed in 2020. Okay. Now, 50% of the those who received immigration clearance to the Gulf regions were from the Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Odisha and the West Bengal. Now, in 2020, total of the uh, of the total uh, uh, immigration clearances, 50% of the immigration clearances were got from the people of the Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Odisha, and the West Bengal. See, so far, inter with respect to the internal migration, the people from uh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, they were migrating towards the Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Okay, now the same people of the uttar pradesh bihar odisha and west bengal now they are migrating outside the country now they were the dominant migrant population within the country now they are becoming the my you know uh, highest you know number of people with respect to the external migration also okay this is the data given by the rbi that means the dominance of southern states with respect to the external migration is coming down and the dominance of the people especially in the central as well as the northern part of india is increasing in the migration of the uh, international migration okay now with res if you compare the total amount of remittance received uh, in 2020 and 2021 there is an increase in the total amount of remittance received by india why there is an increase why there is an overall increase in the remittance received by india see 2019-2020 they are the pandemic hit years all the countries in the world they have suffered severely from the you know slowdown uh, economic slowdown because of the covid 19 impact or the pandemic impact so now the world has come out of this pandemic year 2019 and 20 okay now there is an increase in the economical activities of the different countries now why there is an overall increase because of the willingness of the migrants to support their families in the COVID-19 pandemic times. So, though there was a pandemic year, the people of the, the families or the willingness of the migrants 
to support their families the migrants they were willing too much to support their families during the covid-19 situation also so this willingness of the migrant workers has increased the overall remittance and there is there are other two reasons so in the usa and the european countries the fiscal stimulus and the employment support programs were implemented see though the countries like the usa and the european countries though they were hit by the pandemic they in implemented the fiscal stimulus uh, stimulus packages as well as the employment supporting programs so because of this economical uh, initiatives by these countries there was a increased economic activity there was increased you know uh, migration or the increased income of of the migrant workers in these countries especially in the usa and the european countries then with respect to the gcc countries and the russia this gcc countries they are nothing but gulf cooperation council okay this is the persian gulf gulf cooperation council so the there are eight countries in this gulf cooperation council these eight countries and the russia in these countries there was a stronger oil prices and the resulting pick up in the economic activity see there was a decrease in the oil price also international uh, crude oil price was decreased during the pandemic years also but now as and when the world came out of the pandemic covid-19 pandemic now there is a in, there is an increased oil price this increased oil price in the russia as well as in the gcc countries has resulted in the increased economical activities increased income of the people so because of this the people of india who are working in the russia and the gulf countries they also got more and more incomes so this more income has resulted in the overall rise in the remittances okay so the overall reason for the rise in the remittances is that the increased economical activity of the countries or the host countries after the covid-19 pandemic okay so this is the reason behind the overall rise in the remittances towards india now but there is one more trend the trend is that there is a fall in the total amount of re remittances received from the gulf region okay so according to the who report the usa has become the top country with respect to the outward remittances that means the india receives highest amount of rem remittances from the usa so far till 2021 india was receiving the highest remittances from the uae that is united arab emirates now uae has you know uh, become the second country now the first slot has been uh, taken by the usa okay second is uae why there is a decrease in the remittances from uae and other gulf countries okay let us look into that gulf countries means this is saudi arabia oman yemen okay bahrain qatar iraq iran from these countries there is a decrease in the remittances okay why there is a decrease in the remittances from this region because of the job loss due to lockdown restrictions yes during the pandemic years of 2019 and 20 there was a job loss to the people of india who were working in these countries they got they lost the job they lost the income so that is why there was a reduction in the remittances sent by them then subdued crude oil prices yes during the pandemic years there was a reduction in the oil price reduction in the oil price means lower economical activities lower economical activity means lower in income to the migrant workers now the third reason is slower pace of migration in the recent years so because of the the troubles are the risk uh, posed by the covid-19 the people are not willing to migrate too much now there is a reduction in the migration of the people of india towards the other countries so this slow pace of migration has resulted in the lower remittances then stricter labor laws now the peop uh, the countries like the uh, iraq iran and other gulf countries they have implemented the strict labor laws in their countries and along with that there is a strong workforce workforce nationalization workforce nationalization means that the countries in this gulf region they want to give more and more jobs to their own people but not to the migrant workers okay they are favoring their own nationals over the international migrants so this has resulted in the lower remittances then higher work permit renewal fees and the taxes now the migrant workers now have they have to pay the higher taxes and to renew their work 
permission they have to pay the more fees so this has resulted in the lower remittance then lots of returnees from the gcc were not paid salaries when the pandemic hit when the people were coming back to the country while they returned to the country from the gulf cooperation countries the people these migrant workers they were not paid their salaries so all of these reasons have resulted in the total fall in the remittance received from the gulf region okay so because of these reasons gulf region now have has been reduced to the second place but now the north america has become the highest remittance contributing region for the india now what are the advantages of remittances in what way these remittances help the country let us look into that one of the largest sources of the income for people in low income and developing nations yes this remittance is the one of the largest sources of income for the people in the low income and developing nations so low income and the developing nation indicates that their resource base is not strong though resource base is strong their the resources are not tapped properly resource utilization is poor okay and standard of living is poor so because of this people will migrate to other country and they will earn and they will send back and it will become the one of the major source for income in such developing and low uh, low developed countries okay then these remittances bolster or they support india's foreign exchange reserves and helps fund its current account deficit yes these remittances are part of the capital account of the india's external sector if, if india receives more and more remittances its current account deficit will be reduced okay india's foreign exchange reserve will become stronger because these remittances are received in the form of dollar okay though because indian workers are earning in in terms of dollar if more and more dollar comes to india india's rupee will strengthen okay there will be strong foreign exchange reserve and it will increase the india's bargaining powers and india can afford more and more imports okay so this is the advantage then the third advantage is that the remittances are an important and positive economic result of migration for migrants themselves and for the family and the friends yes these remittances are helpful not only for the migrant workers they are also helpful for the migrant workers family as well as his extended friendships okay so they will help the migrant his family and his well wishers okay so these are the advantages of the remittances now these remittances will help low it will help loved ones meet their financial needs yes the migrant worker is working somewhere else but he is sending money back to the his home now the people in his home and the fa uh, remit uh, families they will you know get benefit out of these finan uh, finances of the migrant worker then it will improve the standard of living no doubt then these remittances will increase the purchasing power it will increase in demand and supply boost by increasing the demand and the supply it will increase the market economy also then these remittances will boost the gdp of the country okay so these are the overall advantages of the remittances of the uh, remittances sent by the indian workers working in the other countries okay so this is all about the who report on the uh, world report on the migrant workers health okay given by the who and the total amount of remittances received by india thank you very much for watching this video